so hello guys welcome back this is viren kumar so today in this video session i am going to discuss about the how we can run the stages sequentially in yaml pipelines in the azure devops as you are aware of the yaml pipelines and we have the stages concept in the yaml pipeline if you don't know about the stages what are the stages and how we can define you can watch my previous videos and you will get the idea about this stages now uh, we have the conditions where we want to run the stages in a sequential order means the first uh, the one step stage will run and then the second stage will run so there is a sequence one by one and their order is the one by one order okay and that we want to achieve so for that we have the two methods the one is the by default without the depends on methods the depends on the keyword which will provide us the sequence and the parallelism uh, in the azure devops yaml pipeline okay on my screen you can see that this is the method one and this is the example one so it is saying that if you don't use the depends on keyword stages will run in the order in which we define so you can see that this is the stages and stage QA and we have the some jobs then the stage is the production stage so in that example we don't use the depends on keyword so in that situation the stages will run sequentially so the first the QA stage will execute once this stage is completed then the production stage will start executing okay this is the sequence of the stages to be run in the yaml pipeline now uh, if you want to define with the depends on keywords okay, we have the method two so the depends on keywords will provide us the feasibility to define the stages in the sequence manner or in the parallel manner when you are working with a big project so that time when you have the around more stages around suppose there are the five stages that you have and out of the five stages you want to execute few in the sequence and few in the parallel so in that conditions we will go with the depends on the keyword so the depends on the keyword will give you the way to execute your stage or job or steps in a sequence manner or in the parallel manner so on in the on my screen the method two is the depends on method so these are the stages this is the array we have defined and this is the hyphen dash stage test this is the one stage and this is the hyphen stage deploy us one so this is the second stage now uh, the stage one test is executed and after that we want to execute the deploy us one and under the stage we are writing the keywords name is the depends on keyword the keyword will give you the feasibility to run the stages one after one so this stage will run after the test so when the test is executed then the stage deploy us will start so now we will understand this concept on the yaml editor for that i'm going to switch to the dev.azure.com account on my screen you can see we have logged into the azure devops account and now we have the pipeline section so under the pipelines we have the new pipelines i'm going to create the new pipelines if you don't know how to create the new pipelines you can watch the my previous video or uh, in the description i have provided the link you can watch these ones okay i'm going to select the azure git and then we have the test okay so now we have the trigger pull information and the stages so i'm going to clear and then i will understand from the basics okay so let's switch to the ppt okay so stages we are going to define so to define a stage first what we need to define a pull okay we are getting from the keyword and the pull then under hyphen space name so what is the pull name ubuntu latest 
okay this is the pool name we have defined now we need to define the stages now we are going to define the stages so for that we have the stages keyword under the stages keyword we have the hyphen dash and then you can type the stage we have the stage so let's say this is a qa stage and then we have the okay so i'm going to switch to the ppt so let's define the qa stage and every stage have the jobs we have the stage qa is defined now we want to define the job so for that we will type the keyword j under the stage and we have the jobs option is there now the hyphen job so we have the one job so job qa job so the job name is the qa job now i'm going to define the another stage so let's suppose i have the hyphen space the stage is the prod stage okay and for this stage we have the we have the jobs defined so the jobs uh, we have the job so this is the prod job okay so uh, this is the pool name and this is the stages and this stage this is the qa stage and this is the production stage now on this we have created the jobs the method one this is the by default without the depends on method so now the stage will run in the sequence when so let's suppose we have the one more stage we are going to define so let's define the stages test stage is there okay. so now we have the qa stage production stage and the test stage so let me save this pipeline and this is the qa test runs okay now i'm going to save this pipeline so now the pipeline is saved Okay, now you want to execute this pipeline so you have the run button is there so you can click on the run button and after that it will select the branch name so we have the master branch and variables if you have defined the variable will come here stages to run resources you can leave as it is blank now click on the run Okay, so there's a pull name issue. So what we can do, we are going to edit the pipeline. Think the pull name is giving the error. So what we can do, uh, we need to resolve this error. So we have the VM images image and this is the ubuntu latest we have now let's save this pipeline again and then try to run this pipeline again so now the pipeline is getting executed so you can see these stages qa stage then production stage and test stage so this is in the waiting qa this is not started yet okay these are the stages now same thing we have the jobs so this job in the queue and these are for waiting for the agents to be run so this is in the sequence manner okay you can see the sequencing is there so qa production and the test will executed in the sequence from left to right so this you can see these are the stages now you can see the QA job and this is a production job and when you click on this collapse button it will give you the jobs information. 
So the QA will start it first and this is the QA job. This is the method one by default we will be running the stages in the sequence manner. So these are the sequence manner. So it's waiting for the host. Acquiring the agent. So the QA job is just started, it's completed. So once the QA job is started and it's completed, the production will start. So it is in the, the QA job you can see. This is the demo job which we have executed. Okay. Now the production job is completed and it will start the test job. As you can see on the screen, the QA job is completed. The production job is completed. Now the test job is started. If you want to rerun the only this stage, then you can select from here, rerun the stage. In a production stage, you can rerun the production stage. So this is, you have the choice. So when you click on the rerun stage, only the production start will execute in rerun. But this will be in the queue. So now three stages run. Okay, QA production and the test stages run. Okay. And if you want to rerun these jobs, you can rerun from here. So let's suppose I want to rerun this stage. So I do want, I want to retry this stage, yes. So let's rerunning this stage. So it's going to start rerunning the stage. So it's waiting for the current host and the job is completed. This is the attempt two. This is the attempt one. This is the attempt to for the test environment. So we tried with the attempt to. So now you can see the test job. Okay, so now uh, we want to edit this pipeline again. Now these are the stages run sequentially. The stage QA, jobs QA and production so in so like that you can run the stages and the jobs in the sequence manner so this is a one method the second method we have the depends on method okay so let's try with the depends on method so we have the qa stage production stage and the test stage now i want to make the dependency for this stage so we have the keyword depends on so you can type the D and it will give you the suggestion. Now you need to provide the stage name. So I have provided the stage QA name. So this stage is depends on the QA stage. Okay. And this stage will run after the QA stage. So let's try with the going to save this one and let's try to run the stage. Okay, so now you can see that stages, the QA stage will execute first. Okay. And then the production, we have the two stages, production and the test. So which one will execute it first? Let's see. This is job is in the pending status. Okay, so I the QA stage is executed now production and the test stage is in the queue so both are in the queue okay so both getting the waiting stage okay because this production will execute it after the QA but we have made the dependency for this one so once the QA stage is executed then the test stage will start executing okay so you can see the syntax for the pipeline on the other end, so we provide the dependency of the QA. So once the QA is executed, the test will start. And this production will start after the QA. That's why you are seeing this graph in that manner. So you can see the production is started. Now this time the test stage is executed first because the QA after test will want to execute and the production is started. So this is also completed. 